Good morning. For those of you who don't know, my name is Maya Karen. I run a fashion blog called Classically Kept. It does feature luxury, contemporary, and how to style and now natural hair care. So if you are into any of those things, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video. So today I am so, 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 so excited. I have been waiting for these two packages. And by the title, you can see that we are going to be doing a double unboxing for two Brandon Blackwood bags. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so a quick OOTD of the day. These are my earrings by way of Shop Bop Toy Birch. These have long been sold out. And if you have been watching my collective hauls, you would know that I now have this dress in beige. I am obsessed with both of these dresses. It is from the Modern Queen collection. I will link it down below, okay? And then I just have on socks. So today, quick story time. As you guys know, I think at this point, prior to these two bags, I have three Brandon Blackwood bags, okay? So I was on Instagram minding my own business and then it popped up on my feed that Brandon Blackwood was going to be having sort of like a private sale for all of his Kendrick trunk bags. That's what they're referred to, that's the name, it's the Kendrick trunk. The reason why this private trunk sale was so special is because he was going to be debuting or re-debuting all of the Kendrick trunk bags, whether they were blue, green, yellow, red, whether they were leather or raffia, basically every single trunk, mini and regular size that he had ever made was going to be re-released. I was elated when I tell you because the two bags that I'm getting ready to show you, one has been sold out and then the other one was damaged, okay? So you had to be signed up for his text and then you would receive his text and there was a password on the text message that you were going to type in to have access once you got to his website. I guess the website crashed and then he just ended up putting the actual password on Instagram, okay? So let's go ahead and unbox the first one. Okay, so here is the first one. Now, let me say this. I am a little peeved that this box is messed up, but I'm gonna live with it because I got the bag. Y'all let me know in the comments, do y'all keep the boxes that your bags come in, okay? So it looks like this, like I said, I always love his packaging, very classic, very simple, all right? So we open it just like that. And then this is just a receipt and a note about the bag and also care instructions. And then it looks like this. We're going to pull it out. All of his bags do come with dust bags. Y'all know I love dust bags for shoes and purses, okay? So it is the Croc Effect bag of Brandon Blackwood. It is the regular size with the aged hardware. When I tell you that I love this bag, I love this bag. I will put the price down here somewhere. But I love this bag. So for this one, by the time I had discovered Brandon Blackwood and the mini one, this is the regular size, they were both sold out. I kept going back for notifications and it was never, or they were never, they never came back into stock. So like I said, when I was on Instagram minding my own business and I saw that all of the, you know, renditions of his bags, the Kendrick trunk bag was going to be coming out, I immediately signed up. I love this bag. Now, one thing that I do like about this bag and probably like right here, maybe like right here, I will get closer so you can see the, the actual craftsmanship of this bag because it's made wonderfully. But one of the things that I think is really cute and very a good marketing tactic is right here is the actual B, okay? So of course, Brandon Blackwood. And then right here it says Brandon Blackwood. And then you just kind of open the bag up like that right here and then it has a strap all of his bags all of the bags that I have from him do come with a strap I am not a crossbody or a strap girl I love top handle if you don't know the top handle is my favorite type of bag top handle structure me all day okay but this is the strap right here and then also it has several holes so you can make it as short or as long as you want okay so this is the first one and I absolutely love it the black is shiny it's classic this will probably be in my wardrobe for a very long time 
I love the structure. I love the color. I love that the the hardware is not actually like that really, really bright gold. Sometimes when you have like really shiny gold or really shiny silver, it tends to make something look a little cheap, okay? So this is the first one. I absolutely love it. Now keep in mind, this is the regular size. The one that I'm getting ready to show you is the mini size and then I will just kind of compare them, okay? Okay, so the quick story with this one is, if you would have seen uh, several collective hauls ago, I actually had to return this bag. So again, when I saw that he was going to be coming out with all of the renditions, I grabbed the chance. This particular bag, it is a mini bag, and I will explain myself in a second. This particular bag, I actually bought by way of Saks. I received the bag, I was so excited, but then I noticed the actual clasp was broken. I brought it to David and he was like, it can't be fixed. So I had to send it back. When I saw it on his website, I was a little hesitant because I was like, I know Saks didn't send this back to Brandon and now he's getting ready to send it to me. But everything is fine. I pre-checked it out, so everything is fine. So the mini bag, of course, is going to come in a smaller box, okay? And again, it's the exact same thing. The very classic Brandon Blackwood packaging. You have the care instructions and the thank you card. And then of course you have the dust bag. And then you have the bag itself. And it is this right here. How, and I'm fully aware that we are getting ready to go into fall. So this will probably be worn, not every day, but if I go somewhere, I will probably wear this. The black one to me personally, I would carry that every single season i'm not really like a season well i am like i'm not really like a seasonal type carrier if i like the bag i'll carry it but obviously because that bag because that bag is because that bag is black i'll be able to carry it through more seasons obviously i'm not going to carry this in the dead of winter okay but i absolutely love this bag there is nothing wrong with the class but one thing that i will say and that i noticed and like i said i will get closer so you can see Right here, you will see that it has the same logo as the Croc bag. This bag came out after this bag, but the actual bag of this particular one that I got from Saks actually had the original or had just like a regular clasp. So I'm wondering if that was like an exclusive for Saks and then this was the original, or if this B logo clasp is going to be the new, I guess, clasp for the Kendrick Trunks moving forward, okay? So again, you just open it like that, right here. And then this one as well does come with a strap. So the other one has these, it does not have the foam and stuff on it because I did a reel with this one. So let's go ahead and quickly unbox this one. Okay, so for this one, here is the strap. And for this one, the strap does not match the bag, which I understand because if the strap were to be made kind of like the raffia or the wicker, however you refer to it, it, would, it probably wouldn't last very long. It probably wouldn't be that durable. So I do understand. But like I said, I am not, you know, a strap kind of girl. So it really doesn't matter to me. Now, before you guys say, well, Maya, I know you don't really do micro bags and I, and I know you don't do mini bags. And you are correct in that. Micro bags to me are just very silly. But to me, this bag is just so cute. It's worth the fact that it cannot fit my phone, okay? Before I, before I film this video, trust me, I tried. My phone does not fit. And this is a 10, I think, regular. So your phone is not going to fit in here, okay? Now, as far as micro bags, aside from that one, I fully realize that I'm getting ready to contradict myself. I have two criteria when it comes to a mini bag. We all know that we love mini bags. As a matter of fact, we're starting to start, we're going to start seeing lots of larger bags. Now, I will probably still be sticking with mini bags and small bags, but I just have two criteria. It's very simple. My mini bag has to fit a lip. My lips and I have a love-hate relationship. So to keep that relationship on the love side, at all times, I have to have some type of lip moisturizer with me, okay? And then the second criteria is that it has to be able to fit my phone. I know, I know this bag doesn't fit it, but you know, maybe when I go on date night, I won't need my phone because who I'm texting typically, who is David, I won't need to text him because I'll be with him. It has to fit my phone, but not for the reason that you think. My purse has to fit my phone so that 
when I'm somewhere, I don't put my phone down. Meaning that if I have a mini bag that does not fit my phone, I'm going to have my phone in one hand and my mini bag in the other. And when I see something or when I need to pick something up, just me being who I am, I'm going to put my phone down. I don't put my purse down places. So my immediate reaction is going to be plop, put my phone down. I get whatever I need to get, look at whatever I need to look at, and then just leave. So I have my, I have my purse, but I don't have my phone. And just, you know, with my luck, when I come back or when I realize, the phone will already be gone, okay? I just wanna show you the difference between the bags. So, this is the original, and this is the mini. You can definitely see a difference I don't know if he plans to make an in-between, but you can definitely see the difference. This will probably be the only mini bag that I buy. Again, I understand the contradiction, but it was just so cute, I couldn't help myself. And from what I understand, this bag never came in a regular size, okay? I just kind of wanted to give you a comparison. And then also, and I probably should just get closer with this one. I will give you the comparison of what I'm talking about when it comes to the clasp. So the original one that I bought, and this one was actually by the way of The Lobby, which is kind of like a Neo type, indie type brand uh, store. They carry like Neo brands. If you can see it, and again, I'll put it right here. The one that I bought from The Lobby, this is a Brandon Blackwood bag, but you can see that it's just a regular clasp. And then the actual Brandon Blackwood bag that I bought from the website has the B, okay? And like I said, I'm not sure if that's a new or old thing, but I actually don't mind it because it's not logo heavy and I think, it's, I think it has been done in a very elegant way, okay? So let me know down below if you actually shopped the Brandon Blackwood private Kendrick trunk sale. My gosh, that was a lot. And let me know what you got. I just wanna remind you that here on YouTube, I do upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And of course, you know right here, I'll put my Instagram handle. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. Bye.